What's up, my friends, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 7 17 2020, and today we have for you guys today's daily news refresh. Now, if you guys have not got a chance to watch yesterday's videos, uh, I actually posted two, and they're extremely well made, as well as full of brand new leaks and information. And in one of them, we talked about the next gen upgrades as far as graphics, physics, water updates, and much more on Xbox Series X as well as PS5. And on the other hand, we just covered the brand new first look at the Atlantis Point of Interest as well as a brand new fish stick style. And even some bonuses about Dr. Disrespect and the updates of him being banned from Twitch. So definitely some great videos, I suggest you guys watch those. And also by the way, of course today is Friday, so like always, every single Friday I do a giveaway. So for a chance to win one of three V-Buck cards like today's video, subscribe with notifications on and comment down below with your Epic Games name and a display name. I wish you guys all the best of luck, and without further ado, let's just hop directly into today's Daily News Refresh. Alright, so our first Fortnite topic is coming directly from FireMonkey, who had this to say. A lot of more testing appears to be starting on V13.40's update. Also, V13.30 has been added to the official staging servers. Expect it next week before or on the 21st. So the 21st is actually what appears to be over on Tuesday, which like always, they tend to do updates every single Tuesday. So we should be seeing 13.30 over on Tuesday, which will add tons of brand new stuff. And that will actually include cars and numerous other things. So over the next two weeks, we should be seeing the Galaxy update. We should be seeing the Renegade emote, the cars update, the 13.30 update, and even the following week after that one, the 13.40 update to add even more content that pushes over into summer. So there's definitely a lot of great updates now in the works, and speaking of today's brand new updates, it looks like Fortnite is now posting the No Sweat and Trends tips over on their Twitter. So they had this to say on today's tip. The experts at No Sweat Insurance will be stopping by to keep Islanders informed on their comprehensive coverage. Keep an eye out on their handy tips or share some of your own, and don't sweat it. Hashtag no sweat. And FireMonkey had this to say on the actual tweet itself. What originally started as updates on Discord from Team No Sweat Insurance seems to have moved to Twitter, with the final update of Discord being from the 3rd of the month. Do you prefer them doing this on Twitter, or do you prefer them doing this on Discord? And me personally, Twitter, because honestly, I don't even use Discord. I think it's just not my favorite thing at all whatsoever, but leave your opinions down below. Now, here is today's brand new tip. So, Fortnite game had this to say. Today's tip, to help keep you and your stuff safe, remember that sharks live in water and like to eat things, including your items. If you can't resist playing with sharks, we recommend taking a fishing rod. Hashtag no sweat. Alright, so essentially it's just kind of like tips for either newcomers or kind of just for like memes. So pretty awesome stuff right there. Into our next Fortnite topic, Hypex said this just a few days ago. The Renegade emote will be inside the item shop on the 18th of this month. And guys, today's the 17th, which means that tomorrow on Saturday, the Renegade emote from TikTok will officially be releasing. And of course, a lot of you guys probably know this dance thanks to Charlie over on TikTok, which of course, she's the number one person on TikTok currently, and it's kind of like the PewDiePie of TikTok. So pretty interesting stuff right there, although I don't agree with TikTokers having so much exposure or fan base behind it because I honestly don't understand why someone doing the exact same dance can get 100 million followers, but this is 2020 and anything is absolutely possible. But yes guys, the Renegade emote will be out tomorrow, and for your sake and for my sake of being copyrighted, we cannot share the official audio. However, I can showcase for you guys what the emote looks like without the official music, but just so you guys know, yes, it's the current official music that is from uh, whatever artist it may be, I honestly have no idea, but the official Renegade music or emote is actually for the emote itself. So roll that clip with non-copyrighted music. Alright, so there will be a link in the description down below to the official Renegade emote over on Twitter where you guys can actually check out the official audio. But like I said before, if you guys have ever watched uh, Charlie or basically TikTok in general, you probably have already heard the Renegade song basically. And to our next Fortnite topic, here's a calendar breakdown of the upcoming brand new, I guess, uh, events upcoming. So, on the 12th, Epic just got back. On the 16th, those were the leaked release dates of Aquaman as well as Black Manta, which officially came out yesterday, so obviously this stuff is actually on point. Over on the 18th, we now have the water going down once again into stage, I think, 4, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this in the background video. 
Now the dark outlines are all the brand new updates and the most notable thing to actually look at is the bottom left hand corner as well as the top right. We can now see that there's actually finally bridges that are actually connecting each and every single island which is probably for the upcoming cars update over on the 21st because obviously if the water did not go down enough and the cars got released we cannot drive cars over on water i'm not quite sure if they're going to be floating or just like, will destroy instantly or blow up whatever it may be but yeah it's going to be quite hard to drive cars if there's not enough land to drive them on and obviously if you guys cannot get to a certain island no one's going to want to build a massive bridge with their materials and waste a bunch of materials just to get that mobility vehicle onto the island of their choice. So that's kind of the biggest update. There's now roads connecting every single island, but as well as, of course, overall in general, a lot of point of interest are now going to be seen, including, I believe, Pleasant Park. Going back to the calendar, of course, the next upcoming thing would actually be, I believe, over on the 20th through the 21st. So Far Monkey had this to say. Alrighty, so without much to talk about as of right now, this is what we know that is upcoming in Fortnite. And of course he said 16th was Black Manta's item shop, and yes that came true. Uh, 18th, the water level goes down once again, we just covered that. Over on the 20th now, which is just I believe 3 days from today, the registration starts for the Galaxy Girl outfit, aka the Galaxy Scout official name skin. So Galaxy Scout will be available to everyone who has a Galaxy device. Now you have to make sure that if you are using a Galaxy device, and by the way that's actually made by Samsung, so if you are using a Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you will have the ability to access the Galaxy Store. If your phone is new enough, that will actually be possible. But if it's not, you're not going to be able to actually enter the competition to hopefully win the Galaxy Scout outfit for absolutely free. Now again, I've heard tons and tons of rumors that regardless if you guys do not win, as long as you participate, I do believe you guys get the skin for free. So if you are a Galaxy owner, it should be relatively easy to get the skin regardless if you guys win the competition or not. But we'll have to simply wait and see as those are kind of just rumors as of right now. But on the 20th, which is just three days from today, that is when the registration starts for the Galaxy Scout outfit. On the 21st, like we said before, the cars get released and that's why the water is going down uh, by tomorrow. And then the 25th and the 26th, the official Galaxy Scout Cup takes place. And last but not least, over on the 25th, we have Fortnite's third birthday to give us free rewards and tons of brand new stuff. Alright, so that was actually a mouthful, but essentially that's all we have for upcoming the next week or so. But in this next upcoming update, if not the next one after that one, we should actually be seeing the first look at the free rewards for the birthday event. So definitely stay tuned, make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with notifications on over on Tuesday, especially because that is when the update should be taking place. Now, as far as today's video goes, unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys as of right now. But like always, if you guys want to support me in the easiest and best ways possible, make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with notifications on and are using code ALTMARS in the Fortnite item shop. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos. And as always, stay happy and have a great day.